This is the simplest fault. Hmm. It might seem like you need two consecutive jumps to pull it off, but that's not actually true. In fact, I can do it with just one. So how does it work? My definition of vaulting right now is to move from a non-standing position to another non-standing position while holding empty hand. This beam is a non-standing object, so no matter when I'm on it, I'll be in a non-standing position. While this edge, when you first jump to it, you'll be in a non-standing position, and then you'll move up. By moving to this non-standing position, to that non-standing position while holding empty hand, I can vault. Pressing empty hand and jump at the same time might be hard to time, so there are many ways to help with timing. When I jump here and hold empty hand, you'll notice that it takes a while before Altair will actually drop down. While this is happening, I can jump again and Altair will vault across. The next way is when you're hanging and you're climbing up, you can hold empty hand without worry. And what this allows you to do is you can then spam jump and Altair will do a vault every single time, easy to time. The next way is when you're moving across a beam object this way and you're holding empty hand, Altair won't actually drop. I don't understand what he's trying to accomplish. Until you move like this way. What this allows is, as long as I'm going forward, I can hold empty hand and just vault that. Believe it or not, that, that that's a vault. When you vault onto an object, Altair will sometimes hang, while other times he'll drop. How does this work? Before we can learn this, we must understand the difference between a world object and the ground. A world object is any object you can climb onto top of, even if it's just a tiny piece of rubble on the ground. The ground, however, you can't climb on top of it, and the ground usually looks like this. These beams are at the minimum height where if there's ground below you, Altair will hang instead of drop. If these were any lower, Altair would drop. If there's a world object under you, you can vault drop higher distances. It is worth mentioning that you can also catch ledge while vaulting. It is worth mentioning a few useful contexts where you can vault. For instance, in most objects like these, you can vault over it and be smooth. When it's like this, you can vault up them too. But it might seem not smooth. To make it smooth, do it at an angle. Who said that vaults had to be used to move to other objects? This is a vault because I'm just moving from a non-standing position to a non-standing, another non-standing position. Every beam object works like that, but not as well as this. It's pretty bugged if you just do on a normal beam. I would heavily recommend spending a bunch of hours just practicing vaults in the contexts where you can perform them. And I sincerely thank you for watching this video.